Hi, today we are here to discuss about uh, bot messaging uh, uh, this error. You cannot send messages to this bot. So in Teams 2.1, right? Uh, when user trying to interact with the bot, some users are facing this issue. This text box is disabled and showing the error message as you cannot send messages to this bot. I will explain why this will occur and how to resolve this issue. OK, so uh, before going to this, uh, how to open this bot? I will is possible be three ways. So first is uh, in the Azure bot. In you know, Azure bot, maybe developers will be aware about it. So in Azure bot, you will have the channels added here. Uh, all the channels like the direct line, Microsoft Teams and everything, right? So here in the Microsoft, uh, in the Microsoft Teams channel, you have option like open in Teams. When you click on it, actually the link is in this format. Uh, Teams.microsoft.com slash L chart 28 colon and then this is the what ID OK, so. URL will be in this format, so developers can click on this link. When developers click on this link, the respective bot will open in Teams in, uh, and it shows this uh, text compose uh, text box will be disabled in this area. And the po other possible way of searching is uh, like you can copy the bot ID here on the uh, search bar. You can click on people so you can even find the bot name here. So you can open the bot again in that case. And the other possible approach is creating the manifest package. OK, so you can create a Teams app package. You can give the bot ID here. And once you create the app package, right? You can go to uh, Teams admin center. You can you can ask your Teams admin to upload the package to Teams admin center. And once you upload this uh, package to Teams admin center, this app will be available for entire organization users. So users can uh, install the app from the uh, app section. They can you see the app here so they can search for the app here and they can install it and use it. So here there should not be any problem. But only the problem occurs first two cases. Uh, directly accessing using this URL or when the user is trying to search with the app, right? So these are the Two cases only uh, users will face the issue. The reason for this issue is uh, it is because of the setup policies. OK, so in the Teams admin center, if you go to the setup policies, uh, you have an option called upload custom apps. OK, so for example, I just created one setup policy. Upload custom apps was I disabled this option, created the policy and then uh, I came to users, manage users, and then search for my profile. And in the policies, I just updated the app setup policy. Okay, I just changed it to side loading disabled policy. So whatever policy I created here, I assigned that policy to uh, my user account here. Okay, so for this particular user account, upload custom apps option is disabled. So in this case, uh, so for example, if I just copy the URL, and uh, if I just paste it here, it tries to open the desktop teams. So it opens uh, respect to bot in desktop teams. This is uh, teams 2.1. So here this box was disabled. So you understand the reason, right? So here the app setup policy, we disable this option. That's why this text box is disabled for that user. So if you want to enable the uh, so the, this is actually happens only during the development for the development only uh, users will try to access the app using the URL or searching with the bot ID. Once it went to production, you can always upload into admin center. So this issue will not occur. So to resolve this issue, if you want to allow the side loading and if you want to solve this issue for developers also, right? You can create an app setup policy by enabling this option and then apply the policy to the respective user. So in that case. Uh, so for example, uh, here I have another user account where this option is enabled. Upload custom apps option was enabled, so different policy was applied. So for that user, uh, if I click on the link, then this text box is enabled. So this is also Teams 2.1 version 2 uh, web teams. 
uh, both behave same way for desktop and web teams here. So here issue is not reproducible because I enable this option maybe in the setup policies. Global policy was applied for the other user account. So upload custom apps option was enabled. So this is the root cause. If you want you to allow the developer or user to access the bot application directly from the URL or searching, then please enable this option. Then it works. And uh, other cases, even though this option is uh, disabled, okay, even if this option is disabled, if you are accessing from classic teams, like uh, uh, for example, let me just showcase teams.microsoft.com. So for the same account, I'm trying to open classic teams version one uh, teams. OK, so in classic teams, even though uh, this option is uh, disabled app setup policies, right? Even this policy is disabled. I am still able to access the bot application. So I would like to tell why. See here, like for example, even if I'm accessing through on the same link, if I navigate, still uh, here the text box is enabled for the same user account. Here in the Teams 2.1, it is disabled, but in a classic Teams, this text box is enabled. Okay, so here this is enabled because of the bug in the Teams product. It is the issue in the uh, classic Teams. So once the fix is rolled out, even you will face the same issue in classic teams. So I would say don't compare with the classic teams here. So to make working in uh, teams 2.1, right? Make sure you enable that side loading option, upload a custom apps option. So here this is the documentation which was talking about. Upload custom apps option should be enabled to allow the app user to upload the app to interact with the app which is not allowed uh, uh, uploaded to uh, admin center. So I will also link this link, uh, give this link in the YouTube video. So please enable this option to make it working in uh, Teams 2.1 for the specific users. Thank you.